We're six months into Donald Trump's presidency, and the administration seems to be lagging behind in filling senior positions in the State Department and U.S. aid. That's leading to concerns that a lack of expertise could lead to an over-reliance on the U.S. Department of Defense and damaging U.S.-Africa relations in the long term. CGTN's Giles Gibson reports from Washington. The Obama administration spent eight years trying to improve U.S. ties with Africa. In 2014, the then U.S. President Barack Obama hosted the first U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit, bringing together leaders from across the continent. But analysts here in Washington, D.C. say the new Trump administration is not doing enough to keep up that momentum. Unfortunately, the current administration in Washington is frankly asleep at the wheel. It is likely no coincidence that the G20 session, which President Trump skipped, was on partnership with Africa, migration and health. Meanwhile, both USAID and the State Department are still waiting for key members of staff to be appointed, including the Assistant Secretary of State for African Affairs. Analysts here say that's leading to over-reliance on the U.S. Department of Defense. The longer we have a vacuum, uh, the greater the danger that we will rely on a security posture with all the limitations that imposes, and that we'll miss out on something phenomenal happening in Africa, because Africa is not sitting around waiting to see what the new administration is going to do. The Trump administration recently pledged 640 million U.S. dollars to Yemen and three African countries, Somalia, South Sudan, and Nigeria, currently battling food insecurity. But question marks still remain over where U.S.-Africa relations are heading over the next four or possibly eight years under President Trump. Giles Gibson, CGTN, Washington.